Hi guys, welcome to Pixel Affair, it's Kobe here and in today's video we are going to talk about the stage object in Cinema 4D. So the stage object basically gives you the ability to, like a, a, a video director or any director on a set will have when you have multiple camera angles that you want to be switching in between. That's basically what the stage object does. So if you have, this is a scene I did for Ghana Football Awards and in this scene if I actually hit play um, let me go back. I hit play. You can see this is one uh, camera angle, and this is another camera angle. And if I it continues, you can see the camera angle changes again, and it's all within one scene. But I can choose to switch when I want to um, switch to any of the cameras. And if I come into my object manager, I can see I have all these camera cameras in my scene. So I have one here. Um, these two was one. Um, two of them is actually being used by the morph camera and another camera angle so i have this is the stage object and if i disable it you can see now i can come into the camera this is one another one here and i think this one um i mean this particular one or oh, should be another one here right let me see we have another one also somewhere here so all these cameras that we have in the scene we can actually choose to switch when we want it to be showing right just like a director will have control over um, his cameras. So that's what the uh, stage object does. And it's not just cameras, it use something like the skies, foreground, background, environment as well. You can switch when you want your sky to be or where your foreground or when your background to show, right? So let's enable the um, stage object. And immediately the stage object is enabled, it takes full control. So you can't switch to any camera. So you can see it's this morph camera that we have on. So now, even if I switch this camera, it goes back to the morph camera, no matter what you do. It will go back to this, the one that the state camera is using. So it takes full control. But how does it work? So for instance, in this scene, if I want to change this camera to, let me go ahead and disable the stage camera and let's create a different um, camera angle, right? So let's say I want this particular scene and this ca camera angle to start, right? So I'll come, I have this angle, I'll create my camera and this is my camera angle. So if I look in it, you can see we have the angle set already, right? And maybe at some different points, I want, we don't know, maybe just for the sake of it, you know what? Let's say at some point we want this particular camera angle, right? So I'll create another camera for this angle. So we have two angles now, this, particular one and this all right so we want to switch between these two angles all we have to do is now come into uh create and in our environment you can see virtual set here we can create um a uh, stage and environment you can create cameras and stuff so let's come into the environment and create stage or you can simply type in shift c and type in the stage object and you can have it here so you can also use shift c to bring it in right so now that's like let's actually create it again um, the stage okay okay i've actually created it already so now let's we want to start with this let's say this particular camera no actually let's start with this particular camera angle right so if our ball maybe somewhere here it's about here so let's say around 80 uh, 89 the 89 frame we want this camera to be from 0 to 89 so the camera we, that's the camera 3 we just drag into the camera field and now the stage takes over so whatever we do it's going to be the stage so if at frame 90 let's say um, frame um, 100 or let's say frame 105 we want to switch to this particular camera right all we have to do is to we set a keyframe at frame 104 and if you get to frame 105, the camera we want to switch to, we drag it in, and I can see it has switched to this camera, and now we, we set a keyframe. So all we have to do is now if I hit play, you can see all these angles, it will be playing around, and immediately it, hits, it begins to hit the ball, the camera switches, right? We can play with the angle, we can select these keyframes, maybe we want it to switch quicker, and bring it back somewhere here, you know, and now maybe let's say here we, we want a different camera angle so i can come in here disable the stage anytime you want to change 
create a new camera you have to disable the stage because it won't allow you to use any camera other than the stage the one that is in the stage so let's say um i want to create a different camera somewhere here i can simply come in and now i'll create my camera so there's another camera and everything is fine so let's enable the stage and you can see it goes back to the camera which is already in but from from zero to like say frame 50 right i want this particular camera to be in the, the one i've just created the camera five to be in control so all i have to do is in the stage in the camera space in the stage uh, stage object i have to drag in this particular camera here and now set a keyframe so that you'll be the one in control so if i hit play and see in here so we get to let's say frame 51 then now i'll bring back the camera um the camera three that i created earlier then i'll bring back the camera three and now is it camera three or camera four yeah camera three so now i'll bring back so at frame 51 i'll bring the camera three and set the keyframe so you can see let's go from here it starts from this angle and it switch to this angle and now it switch to this angle so that's basically how you use the stage object it gives you the control to actually direct your camera where you want it to show and when you want it to show and all that and it's not just camera so you can also use it for backgrounds um, um environment and all of that so to show you an example let me actually create a new scene and i'll say i'll come into my um create like actually come into a virtual virtual environment and i'll choose um background so i have this background i'll give it any um material let me double click on the material to see if i can bring in any background any image or something for us to see so i'll bring in this as my background i'll say no and now i'll apply that to the background right so this is our background one right and now let's go ahead and create another background so you can come into a create again virtual set and in here you can choose um environment you can choose background so this is going to be background two you can create a new material as well and let's see if i'll get another different image um probably this so okay then i'll just apply it to my background too so we have two backgrounds right but now we don't know which one is showing but probably want to control it the time that we, we want to show each of them so we can use the stage object to basically do that so if i come back into my create virtual um set and i actually choose stage right i can simply drag and drop in let's say i want to start with background one right so now whatever i do the background one is going to show but maybe at some point i i probably wanted to switch to the background too I can simply all I have to do is to see at frame um 30. I wanted to switch to background two. So all I have to do is set a keyframe here and at frame 30, I'll switch it to this dark background. Um where is that in a dark background and I'll set a keyframe, right? And it should be able to switch actually. So if you come in here, oh but I'm I'm sorry. I'm actually making a mistake. I'm supposed to drag it into the background field. I'm actually dragging it into the camera field, right? So I can simply um, clear this whole control plus the plus shift and clear here, and you would clear all the keyframes. So at frame 29, I want the background one in the background field, not the camera field, actually. So I have to clear it, and I'll set a keyframe here, and at frame 30. I'll drag in the dark background and now you can see it switches and I'll set the keyframe. So from frame 0 to 29, it will be this frame to 30, then it switch to this particular background. The same thing applies to the environment, the foreground and the skies and everything. So that's what basically the stage object does. It's very, very useful and very, very powerful um, tool that gives you some dynamic over your camera and your scene. It acts a little bit of dynamic dynamics to your animation and your scene. I hope this was helpful and you've learned something from this. See you in the next one.